I'm going to show you all how to motion track videos, pictures and text in Vegas Pro 19. So for this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the improved automatic motion tracking in Vegas Pro. Okay, so to actually motion track this video, all you have to do is select your video, go to the start of it and you want to press Alt or Option key and M. So what you need to do, first of all, you need to click on Add Region. This will give you this rectangle right here, which is going to be the region or the area that you want it to track. So we're pretty much going to tell Vegas that we want this headlight right here to be motion tracked. If yours is red, and as you can see right here, this is an area which you cannot track. So we just need to keep on readjusting it until it turns to a gray color, as you can see. So now that we've done that, we're going to select the precision. We can either have it on fast, balanced, or accurate. So we're going to stick with accurate, and we're going to move on to the mode. For the mode, we're going to select the scale and location. And then finally, we can get onto the tracking options. So down here, we can either track backwards, we could track a frame backwards, we could track both directions, track forwards, and track forwards right here. So this one is a single frame, and this one is track anything after the cursor. I would honestly recommend to track both directions, because no matter if you're halfway through the video, it will track the whole clip. And there we go. So we have now successfully tracked the motion. If we have a look through the video, you can see that the region is stayed stationary in that exact location. So to add ourselves another region, same as last time, you want to go on add region. And with this one, we're going to stick this one right at the top up here. So same as last time, drag the corners, keep on readjusting it until you find the exact location. You can motion track it. So for me, I'm going to slightly move this a little bit more further down and there we go so that is a good location same as last time this one's going to be accurate and we're going to set the mode to location go ahead and track both directions and there we go so we now have region one and region two which have been successfully tracked okay so now we can go to the beginning of this video we can close this down and we can actually start to add some text so you want to go over to the media generators, go down to titles and text and get yourself the plain default text and drag this above your video. Type in anything you want in here and we're going to set it to 52 for the size. We're going to use a classic Adobe font, so we're going to stick to Adobe right at the top. If we can get the right one, Adobe clean. Scroll down. If you want to, you can get yourself some effects. So we're going to apply some shadow. Set this one to zero. Second one to zero. And then the last one to 200. And there we go. So we can now close this down. Now, in order to be able to track this, we need to first of all, drag this out to the full duration of this video. And we need to go over to the video effects. In here, you want to scroll down to the effect called Picture in Picture. We need to apply this in order to be able to motion track the text. So get yourself the default one and drag this into the text layer. Once you've done that, you can readjust this. You can change the scale. You could tilt it if you wanted to. So we're going to drag the corner out. And we're going to stick it right up here. Once you've done that, we can close this down. And to motion track the text, we want to right click on the video, go to motion tracking. So in here, you want to go ahead and select yourself the second region, which is the one right at the top here. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and click on the arrow, which will say motion track transfer menu. In here, you will see there is a Vegas titles and text classic. And then you want to select the Vegas picture in picture. And what this will do is it will copy the keyframes over to your text layer. And if we close this down and have a look at the video, you can see that the text has now been motion tracked onto that specific region. We're going to move on to the next one. And let's say we wanted to add ourselves a picture. You would just simply drag it into the timeline, drag it in above the text, stretch it out to scale. So it's the full duration. 
Same as last time, go to video effects and you need to apply the picture and picture effect. Once you've done that, we're going to scale this down to something a little bit more smaller and apply it onto here like so. We can then close this down and same as last time, you want to right click on the video, make sure that you're selecting the video. Otherwise, if you press Alt and M, it will just bring up a separate new motion tracker. So you won't see your regions. And if you're wondering why, it's because you need to select your video and then press Alt and M and it'll bring up your regions. So for this one, we want to make sure that we have region one selected. Go down to the arrow, same as last time, and go to the horse logo and picture in picture. If we close this down, you can see that the logo stays right there. And then finally, of course, if you wanted to, we can get ourselves a video and we're going to drag this one right above here. For this one, we're going to go over to the compositioning mode. Now, if you don't have this visible, you can go to the three dots, go to edit visible buttons and make sure that this one is ticked. Once you've done that, we're going to set this one to screen and we're going to once again go over to the video effects, get yourself for the final time the picture in picture and we're going to scale this down and fit it right here. And there we go. So everything is looking great. We can close this down. Once again, right click on the video, go to motion tracking, set it to region one, go over to the arrow and set it to the video picture in picture. And there we go, you are pretty much done. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I have more Photoshop and video editing tutorials. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.